our bodies are like our houses and there's a plumbing system to the, to the, to the house and there's an electrical system. Each heartbeat originates uh, from a tiny electrical impulse that travels and, and uh, causes the entire heart to contract. Cardiac electrophysiology is a subspecialty of cardiology that deals with uh, arrhythmias. So either fast heart rhythms or slow heart rhythms. As far as fast heart rhythms, there's an electrical itch in the heart that electricity is, is stuck in that causes your heart rhythm to be very fast. So our patient today had what's called atrial flutter. Atrial flutter is where the top chamber of the heart has an electrical circuit that goes round and round at about 300 beats a minute. If this is an arrhythmia that that he continues to have that is not treated, then uh, there is a small risk of stroke. So to treat this, we put a couple of catheters through the groin and go up the vein, up to the heart. And with these catheters, we're able to measure the electricity. Uh, so we confirm the nature of the arrhythmia. So once we confirm the diagnosis, um, we burn a small sliver of tissue. With my ablation catheter, we can basically apply concentrated radio frequency energy and draw a line that breaks this um, circuit. We have a couple of um, tools at our disposal to guide us in where to place our catheters and where to create our small burn patients. So one is x-ray fluoroscopy, two is our 3D mapping system, and three is the electric amps, the electrical signals that are uh, recorded by our catheter tips. Using all three of those, uh, we can really um, maneuver our catheter through the heart, get to the location that we need to go to, and uh, treat the other At the latter half of this procedure, the patient was at a heart rate of maybe about 100 and um, 20, 30 beats a minute, and then suddenly went to a heart rate of about 80. So at that point, we created a, a line of block that terminated the arrhythmia. So, you know, it's a satisfying uh, feeling that, that, that you physically cured this patient's problem at that point.